Hello, everybody. It's... Let me see if I can get my camera adjusted. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Friday, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Dungeons & Dragons, but make it fashion. Um, this is the show where we take a random monster from the monster manual and we make fashion out of it. It's um, relatively self-explanatory. <laughs> so in this episode, we are going to be doing the Ankeg and I think it'll be pretty fun. Uh, last week we did the Zorn, and uh, you should be able to look at the VOD if you want to see that one. Uh, that one turned out so well. I am so, so, so happy to see that one. Um, so yeah, this week we have the Ankeg, and I have been having a little bit of designer block on this one, but I think I finally came up with something um, like about 10 minutes ago. So. Um, hello everybody, welcome to the chat. Good afternoon, Lazy Gothy and Momming Like Molly. Uh, there's gonna be a couple of changes today. I hope that you like them. I have some new music that I'm trying out using a plugin with uh, Streamlabs and Twitch. So over in the chat, you'll be able to see the song names and the artist. So yeah, I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping you enjoy the music. And also, I have a new mod bot that I installed. Um, it, it's not really that useful, except for it will send some reminders of like social media stuff. So hopefully over time, I'll add more things to it. But as small as we are at this point, I think I'm cool. Um, the other thing, this came in like an hour ago. This is my new glove for sketching. It looks totally ridiculous, but... <laughs> I kind of like it. So this is going to help me make fewer mistakes when I am sketching. Um, hello, Fire Garnet Snake. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad for everybody to be here. Um, the music is a little quiet. I will let you know that. I'm trying to work on the, the balance, but it's a little bit different than the other music that I've been using. So um, yeah, we'll see how this works. If, if you ever want me to turn up the music, let me know. Um, I have it turned down on my end just so I can hear myself speak. Um, but yeah, yeah, without further ado, um, what, how is everyone doing? You know, it's Friday. Hope everyone had a good week and are looking forward to a good weekend. Um, this is always a little bit of a pre-show for the Adventurers Pack show at 5 p.m. Pacific time, which is the Gauntlet. And that, again, will be happening tonight at 5 p.m. Pacific time. Once I have gotten to a good stopping point on this sketch, right around 4.55 p.m. my time, we will be raiding the Adventurers Pack channel. So that will be happening then. So stick around for the whole time if you are here for that show. And without much other going on, I am going to go to the illustrating scene now. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> Streamlabs does not like my camera, so it drops a whole bunch of frames during the parts where you look at me. So usually the fashion sketching time is less frozen, if you will. So... Let's get started. And I'm gonna pump up the music audio again. I'm gonna pump up my audio just in case I'm a little too quiet today. All right, so this is the Ankeg here. And this is technically a monstrosity from the Forgotten Realms setting of Dungeons and Dragons. And as you can see, it's an ugly, ugly little bugger. It's very spiny, very pokey. Um, it has like that chitinous shell and frankly, I, I think it, it's a little disgusting. So, um, I actually, let's see, let's close that. That should help. And I'm still getting some skipped frames, so I'm just going to do some stuff to help out. Okay. This should help. Anyway, so uh, the Ankeg is the sixth of the monsters alphabetically in the monster manual. And that's the one that we drew last week at the end. <laughs> and as you can see, it's just not, it's not a very attractive looking bugger. 
Um, the color palette is, you know, kind of similar to some of the other color palettes that we've been doing. So I was struggling a bit with this particular monster. Um, however, I believe that we do get, um, as artists, it's really important to push ourselves even when we are limited with what we can do. And sometimes your best work can come out of when you are limited. Yeah, it definitely has a praying mantis vibe, um, like a demonic praying mantis. I think these are pretty large. They're about like horse size, if I remember correctly in the game. Um, the Ankeg has an acid spray and a bite attack. Um, and so I was thinking, even though the acid spray is not pictured in this, I mean, it kind of is, like there's some spittle, some really disgusting spittle in the art here. Um, and you can see there's a little bit of green here on the edge of the, what would you call that? Like spiny claw. It's not really a true claw, but um, yeah, it's a burrower. So it does burrow underground. It's pretty awful. Um, so I am going to be picking all the colors from here. I'm going to try to take some shapes from this as well. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see where I can get with this. My idea is to do a really tailored vest and then a more flowy tiered skirt. And I might, I might do like a, a really interesting blouse as well. So we have those ideas that I'm hoping to work on, um, and get through pretty well. And of course, the first thing that I always do is on this layer is drop the opacity. Oop, not that much. There we go. Let's see. And then I'm going to add a new layer above that. Get out the technical pen and start sketching over the croquis layer. Okay. Yeah, Lazy Gothy, they are rather disturbing. <laughs> um, if you would like to check out the Adventurer's Pack YouTube channel, um, ooh, that's too thick. The Adventurer's Pack YouTube channel does have a video on the Ankeg in their bestiary show. Um, and I think they had similar attitudes towards it. Wow, that is still too thick. Oh, something else that I'm going to be working on soon is I am working on a merch store and I will be selling the uh, the fashion prints from these shows. So um, that's something that I thought would be really interesting. I know some people expressed a little bit of interest in that before. So I will be doing that and getting it set up this weekend. I started it yesterday and I didn't get very, very far. So that's fine. All right. And is anybody expecting to have a good weekend this weekend? Like anything somewhat fun planned? Yeah, Scott did do a miniature Monday with the Ankeg Mini. I think they're a relatively popular creature to put in a thing. I think they're a... Shoot, is it a challenge rating too? I don't have anything in front of me right now. <laughs> um, except for my sketch. So, uh, if somebody can tell me. is I think it's a challenge rating too. So... Uh, if that, for reference, in the gauntlet right now, they are currently on challenge rating one quarter. And uh, let's just say they, they've been doing pretty well. Um, but I'm expecting a, a total party kill tonight, a TPK. Because they've gone three weeks, I think, without one. So the players, like the contestants, I guess, how would you 
describe it. The uh, adventurers. Probably pretty tapped out, pretty exhausted. They did just reach level three. So that means a few of them are getting some spell slots back. Um, the barbarian Krom is getting an extra rage, which I love a rage. <laughs> so um, in another game that Scott is running, I am playing a barbarian. And I, it's just my favorite thing to do, is to rage. Oh, nice, Lazy Gothy. You'll be painting um, at the same time as painting in place. That's That'll be fun. Yeah, tomorrow I'll probably, while I'm both modding and watching, I'll probably be working on some more illustrations, maybe some more... Um, what I've been doing is adding backgrounds to some of my fashion illustrations so I can sell them as posters. Oops. And then also I do have some emotes to work on for Adventurous Pack, so I might do that while Scott is painting. And I think there's something that they're unveiling this evening that I worked on this week. And I'm really, really excited for that. So hopefully, hopefully we'll see it in use tonight. Oh, and momming like Molly, if you're still in there, um, I wanted to let you know there is something on the way for Mr. Ollie. So um, it should get there hopefully in a couple of days. I got the notification today that it shipped, so. All right, our outline is done. I feel like I'm getting way faster <laughs> at doing that, which makes sense because, you know, when you practice a lot, you get better at things. And I have been practicing a lot, so. Okay, so I can go ahead and I can actually get rid of that layer of the line art because I really don't need it anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this layer just drop that opacity here. And there's a few things that I'm thinking about. Um, first and foremost is when looking at the onkeg and how, so this is, this is not just the onkeg, but anytime that I am working on interpreting something into fashion, I'm looking at the different forms, the structure, the materials that I could possibly use in an actual representation of the figure. With this model, because it is a bug, it has that chitinous shell, which is generally kind of shiny and um, glossy, hard, you know, so it's one of those feelings of, okay, so the fabric that I'm going to probably choose for this, at least for some of this, is going to be leather. Leather has that nice, hard, shell-like consistency. Um, there are other things that I could certainly do. Uh, materials like linen and cotton have nice crisp lines, crisp edges. So that's something that I could use that's more flexible. But then I also think it's fun to be a little bit more interpretive. So when I'm thinking about like the acid spray attack, um, you know, there is no material that you can really compare with that. So I'm thinking a nice flowy green skirt might be really nice. Um, there's also this shape up here. Um, and in fact, let me start my new layer because I really like this shape. Oh, 
right here. <laughs> um, so actually what I am going to do, well, first I need to, ah, come on, stop. And oh, of course that's what it did. Okay. Well, that is strange. Okay, uh, let me get back to this layer. <laughs> is this kind of reminds me of when I did the rhinoceros beetle. I gave the the model a headdress, essentially. <laughs> um, and so I think that's what I'll do here. Oh, come on. The joys of working with Procreate. Okay. So what I actually think I need to do is go back to this layer, make it a little bit smaller, so there's room for this headpiece here. Yeah, <laughs> it's definitely reminiscent of the Alien Queen and Aliens, yeah. Okay, so now I can place that, make it just a little bit smaller so it fits on the head. So there's that, but there's also something that I can do here, which is copy and paste. And I can, where's my little, there it is. Hey, Crom the Crusher. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I know you're really, I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> uh, I know that you're preparing for this evening too. So thank you for taking time to come hang out. So I'm drinking some decaf coffee here. So the beauty of this now is I can, come on, copy and paste again, and I can keep layering this shape if I want to. Um, this is going to probably get into some really interesting territory as far as thinking about costume versus um, fashion. And by using such a direct reference to the monster itself, uh, this is something that I'm tempted to still do because I think this is a really interesting shape. But what I might do is remove the headdress, essentially. Um, I just, I don't think it's necessary to have both the headdress and this kind of spiky carapace skirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually just hide the headdress because maybe we'll come back to it. Go to this layer. Am I on the wrong layer? I can't tell. <laughs> yes, there we go. Any place that I can actually clean things up while I go, the better. So I actually want this to be, we're gonna rename some things. Oops. Tier one and rename tier two. 
and I am going to add another layer. We're going to do tier three. Okay. Copy. And drop down to tier three. And paste. I am trying to learn uh, <laughs> the proper use of this pen or this this um, glove that I have now. It's very very silly. Okay, time to go back to tier two. Oh shoot! Okay, I see what happened. Okay. Alrighty, so I don't know how much I love this uh, now that I'm seeing it. <laughs> so I think what I might need to do is just adjust some of the, the shaping. It's a little too severe in my opinion. Um, I mean, what do you all think? You know, I'd love to hear your perspective. I guess I can add some stuff. Wow. Let's try some things here. Welcome, John Peter Alien. I, you are, I think you're new to the stream, so welcome, welcome. <laughs> yeah, I think shoulder pads are either going to be a must in here. Um, I think I might do shoulder pads with a vest. Let's, let's keep going with this shape and see what happens. You know, I'm just going to <laughs> let go and see, see what we're going to come up with. What I am going to do is, well, actually, I'm going to smush these layers together so they're all one layer now. And I do want to do at least a vest. And make sure that we have our shoulders. I'll do shoulder pads on a another layer. Um, that way I can control whether or not they stay put. So I'm definitely thinking of more of a corseted vest. So you'll notice what I'm going to be doing is accentuating the breast area and then cinching in the waist because that's that's how a corset works. You know, you're kind of just mushing um, body bits all over the place. 
and I'm actually coming in, whoops, within that line art layer on the bottom. So, well, awesome. Well, welcome and stay a while, John Peter. Um, we're lucky to have you. This is a nice chill crew here. And I know this looks pretty severe, but with a corset like this, it probably would be a corset vest. And for this, I'm going to give it kind of a pointed vest type corset. And I think I'm going to go with a front lace up design here. And so I'm actually going to drop the size of the brush. And let's, <laughs> I know I normally don't do detail this early, but I think it's important for this one. I'm going to do the eyelets. So I think we're kind of going down a fantasy route on this one, y'all. And that is okay. You know, I just, I like to let the monster <laughs> and the sketch take on a life of its own. And I think all these are a little bit too far away. Just call you John. Sure. No, I'll call you John. And I'd love to know, uh, where did you come from? Where, how did you find me? That was the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> God, I love doing digital art nowadays. Because if I wanted to fix that with when I normally do my sketches on paper uh, <laughs> and inking, it's just a lot of erasing and um, hoping that I get it right again and ruining the paper because I'm erasing too much. And then if I've already inked it and I realized too late, you know, it's just... Uh, it's a good time. It's a good time. Okay. Oh, you're from Australia. Well, welcome. What time is it over there right now? It's, it's got to be pretty late or really early. <laughs> one, one or the two. Okay. I feel like I have done that shape in one of my sketches already. Huh. I kind of did it on the rhinoceros beetle. I'm basically redoing the rhinoceros beetle, except for it with a more feminine fit. <laughs> well, you know, we can all be self-referential sometimes, right? Uh, <laughs> Okay, so it's 8.30 in the morning. That's what I thought it would be. I was trying to do math in my head and frankly, my schedule's out of whack today, so I just had no idea. Okay, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna give her An interesting little okay, so ruffle. Thank you. 
And for this one, I am going to have her arms in the back. Um, because I really don't want to distract from the shape of the, the skirt portion. But I am giving her like a little bit of a poofy sleeve. Almost, almost like an Edwardian outfit, but maybe Edwardian in the time of monstrosities. <laughs> oh, good times. See, this is, this is why I do this show. Oh yeah, some earrings that, yes, 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 yes. I think that's gonna have to be the case. Great idea, Lazy Gothy. Yeah, the corset layer, so I mean, it's a corset vest, um, but I'm also, I am not a monster. <laughs> <laughs> I I would not leave a corset on bare skin. Um, that's not how it would have been done, historically speaking. Granted, again, I'm not trying to be historically accurate. However, um, you know, it's one of those things of... If I were to make this in real life, I would want the model to be as comfortable as possible um but you know it's it's hard to say like it's just really really hard to say um what to do sometimes okay some this is interesting sorry my my chat like is doing things out of order um what if you did flared sleeves to emulate the shell yeah i think maybe that's what i'll do is i'll kind of add some volume to these sleeves let me just kind of and kind of right above the elbow oh come on oh and you know what i realized i haven't done today there we go I forgot that I did this on the last stream, and it actually helped quite a bit. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. And... There we go. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so now I need to, again, this is a detail, but I feel like I want to get as much of this stuff in place. Um, okay, let's, I'm going to do a new layer for this so I don't screw it up too much. It's too big. I'm not gonna lie, this is, I love it. It's also like, oh, oh, that's gross. <laughs> okay. Let's bring that over. There's also kind of a part of me that wants to give her like, ooh, okay. This is something that Alexander McQueen would probably do. How is it that you can make that ugly monstrosity look so cute? Um, well, Crom, thank you. <laughs> Uh, I would love to say that it's going to stay looking cute. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, we will see. Okay. Copy. Paste. And then I'm going to flip horizontally. Okay. I need to nudge that over. Just 
a bit. And then maybe I'll attach it. <clears throat> Goodness, sorry, let me drink some water. Okay. Um, I don't really want to give her a cap because I do want to put some hair in this. Uh, but I think what I might do... Okay, well, let's do the hair first. Let's, let's just be smart about this. Go down to my body layer. <clears throat> Bring the opacity back up for a second. Also, I am totally digging this music. Uh, I hope I hope you all are too. Hopefully you can hear it. That's the other thing. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> I just went straight down <laughs> and was staring at my screen. Um, I think it's a puffy sleeves. Yes, that works. Um, those might work well with the earrings, two layers of symmetry. Nope, just silence here. <laughs> sorry, I get really focused. Um, oh, no. Oh, you mean uh, you don't hear the music. Ba, 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 ba. I think I might have to turn it up. Can you hear it now? Oh shoot, you can't hear anything at all? Hello? Okay. I wasn't speaking there for a while, so I wonder if that that might have been it. Um, testing, testing, one, two, three. Bring that up then. Hmm. 
Hopefully you can hear me. <clears throat> Not at all. Okay. This is so weird. Okay, let me bring this up even more. Okay, okay, good. Okay. <laughs> I think there is a pretty heavy delay on my stream, so I know that can be difficult. Oh, hey, Shady Scott, welcome to the stream. You're playing tonight too, right? Okay. Um, Lazy Gothy, you might need to refresh the stream. Okay. So I think instead of the mandibles there, I'm going to give her like a mandible. Um, I'm going to move that to like a, a, oh, come on. More of a crown type thing. And of course, I'll be able to adjust that a little bit better. And then I think what I will do is what John mentioned is do some earrings. Um, I might cut off those like wispy bits of hair and, and do some earrings that are also the same shape as the mandibles. And then that does give you that double layer of symmetry. This whole outfit is very, very symmetrical. So I think it at least will look very graphic. Um, okay. So I'm gonna bring that down kind of just above her eyebrows. And it looks like I need to tilt it just a weensy bit. Okay. And now what I can do is come in. I'm going to give it a thicker line. Because it was just a little bit too fine. And then I can also come in and knock off that edge. Okay, good. Good, you can see and hear okay now. That's good. <laughs> yeah, technical difficulties are just not fun. Um, especially when, as a streamer, there's very little I can do on the other end, except for say, did you try this? <laughs> you know, like, did you try turning it off and back on again? It's tough, it's tough, <laughs> um, especially when I have had my fair share of technical difficulties on this side over the last few weeks, so <laughs> there's there's only so much that I can do. Okay, so I'm gonna actually start. Well, I need to do one thing before I start erasing stuff. Actually, I can still erase the hair. We'll do that first. Not all the hair, just that portion, the ringlets, because I don't want this to be very messy. And I think, oops. That's still kind of the bottom of the ear. Hi, Adventures Pack! Welcome, welcome, welcome! What if you incorporated the mandible aesthetic into the collar? Yeah, I think I could do that with the... At least the, the vest portion of the corset, like the, the hem. But honestly, I think I like the floofy, ruffly bit on the collar for this particular aesthetic. Um, the earrings, I think, will help bring some of that shape down 
in, um, but I don't want it to be too referential. Um, uh, oh, why did I do that? <laughs> Silly me. Uh, what layer am I on? Anyway. Yeah, I need to be in this layer, pal. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna like, copy paste. That. And then I can. Erase that little bit. Are you getting all set up for tonight, Adventurer's Pack? I'm assuming this is Scott on this side. I might just give her one earring. Is that crazy with this very symmetrical piece? The chaos monster inside of me just went, hmm, maybe we just give her one earring. And I know that'll bother some of you in the audience. Um, I know who that will bother in the audience specifically. <laughs> yeah, we're going to give her one earring. Cool. So I am... Let's do this. Maybe she's like a priestess of the Onkeg, but like a romantic cottagecore priestess of the Onkeg. <laughs> Let's, oh, we could give her some riding boots. Okay, see, now I'm into it. See, Scott, when we were talking yesterday and I was all like, uh, I don't wanna do this one. And then now look at me. Okay, we're bringing all of these layers down. I am going to go ahead and get rid of that one. Um, and let's give her some riding boots. First, I am going to look up a reference. Um, just one moment, everybody. Okay. Yep, that's exactly what I was thinking. Great. So, Edwardian riding boots, um, for women at least, it's very different. And they call them Victorian. Um, there's an interesting little bit... Oops, what did I just touch? Oh, oh, it's my phone being an idiot. Um, Right now, my phone, when it's plugged in, I don't know if it's a cord problem or my phone problem, um, if it's plugged in and unlocked, it'll start opening apps and clicking on things even though I'm not even touching it, so it's a little freaky. Anyways, uh, I'm going to give her some riding boots. Sorry, I went silent again. It's not you, it's me. Oh, thank you guys, yeah. Oh, hi, kitten. You gonna come hang out? Come here. Hold on, we need to have a little cat break. Let's see. Come here. 
what? You love bothering me when I'm sketching. Okay, yeah, we're gonna have a cat break for two seconds. Hold on. This is Beans, my beautiful baby one-eyed cat. And sometimes she does like to bother me when I'm sketching here, so... <laughs> This is a pretty normal thing for her to do. Um, but I actually had to pick her up on that one. So anyways, um, back to sketching. Let's let's go right back <laughs> to doing that. But you know, who doesn't who doesn't love a cat? You know, just randomly showing up. Okay, so for the shoes, these are heavily laced for the riding shoes. But now there's cat hair all over, that's fine. So it's time to do a lot of little details here. And I'm gonna lace everything up after I've dropped color in because otherwise it gets really, really annoying. Because um, I essentially will have to go into every gap in between the lace and make sure that I fill it in. That wouldn't be a problem if this was traditional art, but at least getting the eyelets in here is helpful. And just a reminder for everybody, um, I do like to do this show before the Adventurous Pack show this evening, The Gauntlet. Um, for me, I'm going to be on Twitch anyway as a mod for them, um, and I, I love giving them some more attention too. Um, so yeah, hang out with me until about 4.55 p.m. Pacific time, so another hour or so. And then we're going to go raid the Adventurous Pack for The Gauntlet at 5 p.m. Pacific time to watch them go through some more monsters from the monster manual. They got to a sanctuary last time. They did not have a TPK, which I was expecting. And we'll be rooting them on from the sidelines. But yeah, this is also another way that just, it lets me chill out before I go mod because it gets crazy sometimes, especially when people are just crushing it so much. Yeah, Lazy Gothy, they do. Cats know when to arrive and they're always on time. It's a little bit like, isn't that a wizard? Isn't that what Gandalf says at the beginning of Fellowship? Okay, we have some riding boots. We have a skirt. We're gonna give her leggings. Um, God, we're not gonna see like any of her body except her head. Okay, that's fine. But yeah, I think she's gonna be wearing, whoa, that was weird, leggings underneath this. Okay, so we're gonna see her face, her hair, and her hands, and her neck. Cool. So I think I'm at the point now where I'm going to start dropping color and also erasing the places that I don't need. So first I'm going to add my new layer and pop that below the... Holy crap, what just happened outside? Gosh, sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I hear things that, oh, that was almost a car accident. Okay, that is what I saw. It wasn't a car accident, but it was almost a car accident. Living in Los Angeles, everybody. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do the line art layer for the body and make sure that I bring that up full opacity now. And it's my reference layer and I'm gonna pop down to the layer below and actually, 
Let's see if I can find... That's almost a skin tone. Kind of strange. Um, oh, but that's very strange now that I see it in a larger area. Okay, so I'm just going to soften that a little bit. Okay, okay, that's much... <laughs> she doesn't look so jaundiced. That looked like she had liver issues. Okay. What's going on, Twitch? Oh, yes. I guess I'll do the hair while I'm at it. Let's give her some, like, red hair. Yeah, I don't think I've done any redheads so far. She could be like a Queen Elizabeth the first. Okay, so now I'm gonna pop that back up. And I'm gonna go with the line art first and start erasing the things that I will not see. Just a little reminder too, um, anybody who hasn't yet followed this channel, um, please go ahead and leave a, a little bit of a follow. I would love to have you guys hang out more often. This is something I do uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Mondays and Wednesdays are a theme, so this month it's been elements. The elements that I've been working on have both been elements from the periodic table. Jeez, I hate when I do that. Um, yeah, elements from the periodic table as well as like lightning. I haven't done another one that's more conceptual. So I think I might do that on Monday is do one like fire or something. Oh, come on. So yeah, fire or water, spirit. Spirit, I think, might be a little bit too... Eh, I don't know how to describe this. Um, not difficult. But the interpretation of spirit, I think, is hard to pin down into something that is fashion. I'll think about it. So I'll either do spirit or fire or water oh thank you john uh yep see ya adventures pack see you in about an hour i am super super excited for tonight's episode of the gauntlet so oh boy oh, i will be adding some new uh what do we call these animations for like follows and eventually when I can do subs. Um, I'm still a ways away from affiliate level, so, <laughs> uh, you know, if you like this and you think other people would like this too, let them know. But also I can't say that I'm like, I don't know, I, I do this for fun. But, you know, it'd be fun to have some more options available to me to, like, I don't know, interact with you guys. And... I don't know. That sounds, sounds like fun to me. Okay, where 
is this line art layer? Like, is it this layer? Is it this layer? It is, okay. Ugh, I hate finding those like messy bits and then not being able to find which one it is. And we can go back to the larger brush. See, her hands are peeking out from behind. I'm not cheating. I do think I need to go back in and fill in a little bit. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> and right here, fill that in. Right. I technically don't need to erase the liner underneath this because the color will go right on top of it. So, cool, cool, cool. Now I can start dropping colors into the actual outfit. However, we're gonna do what we always do on this show, which is set a new palette. <clears throat> and this is going to be the on keg. Oh, I was mentioning, geez, wow, gosh, I have artist brain today. So, uh, wow, brain, super great. Mondays and Wednesdays, this show, I do a themed um, sort of thing and make it into fashion. Again, this month it's been Elements, and that happens at 2 p.m. Pacific time. So, you know, whatever that is in your current locale. And then Fridays are always Dungeons and Dragons, but make it fashion. I'm loving, there's a lot more purples in here and magentas that I wasn't really expecting. Some gorgeous reds. We've already done her red hair, so I don't know if I need to really play with that too much. These mandibles are kind of interesting. That green from the earth, you know, and it looks kind of like there's some of it on the thing as well, like on the actual onkeg. So I'm really into that. And I'll probably do that for the blouse. I might have to like, <laughs> calm it way down. But yeah, that's a nice color palette. Okay. So it's time to go up to the line art layer for the outfit, create a new layer, make the line art layer my reference, go back down to the color layer. And I'm actually gonna start with the green blouse. Kind of looks like lettuce. But we're gonna see where this takes us. We can always recolor stuff as needed. For the mandible headpiece, I actually want it to be kind of that weird fleshy tone. It's not fleshy, like bony tone or carapace tone. And then for the vest, oh, this is a hard choice. Okay, let's do the purple. Oh, she kind of looks like a Joker cosplay now. So I did like the green, but the green made it look a little garish. 
There's a part of me that's thinking maybe a darker green down here underneath. Nope. No, no, mm -mm. didn't like that. Gross. Okay. The riding boots I do like for this color. shame not to have some of that green in here, but the green <laughs> is almost like it sticks out too much. Well, that one's lighter at least. There's that one. Because here's the thing, red and green bother my eyes, <laughs> and so I don't want it to seem very like Christmassy or costumey. And I feel like this color palette, the green, purple, and red or auburn, reminds me of like a Joker cosplay, just weirder. This looks more realistic, more natural. And granted, all this will change a little bit with the shading and the highlighting and the texturizing and stuff, but right now at this point, I'm really trying to picture what we're doing here. Um, Yeah, I'm, that's that's what I'm thinking, John. All right, see ya. See ya, sister. Have a good dinner. Give love to the family. Yeah, I think I'll definitely just add it as final details like kind of specks of green here and there. Like maybe she's a gardener. Oh yeah, green lacing. Yeah. Yeah, let's do green lacing because that's just finer detail. And let's find a good color for these tights. Let's just actually go with the purple for the tights. Oh yeah, this piece is gonna need <laughs> crazy texture. I am thinking about like, uh, like you can just see like the texture. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just like um, the texture of the onkeg has all of these like spines and stuff, and so I think if I can add. Um, there's all these layers and layers of texture on the carapace of this disgusting little monster. Uh, <laughs> so I think what I would love to do, so the vest I think will be pretty simple, you know, a relatively easy lace-up vest corset. And I'll do some highlighting, and it will be leather, so I will give it some pretty nice intense highlights. But then for the actual skirt portion, I kind of, I do want to mimic like a roughly crinkly fabric almost to create these layers. So I think what I'll do is let's, oh boy, 
let's not do that. Let's start with the laces and go with the green. And I am going to, yeah, I think I'm actually gonna do that above this layer. just a slightly lighter tone for the other half of the laces. I need to figure out where I'm going to have the laces pop out. I realize I just might have done this wrong, but eh, it's fashion. It's art. None of this has to make sense. Yeah, that was a really good call, y'all, on the lacing for the, the green being the lacing. I do need to come down and I I think use the purple though. Let's just fill the holes behind the lacing. And what I might do is just hide that for a second so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm also gonna I'm gonna do a poll right now. I don't have that plugin set up right now, um, but for Monday, you have the option of fire, water, or spirit. Which one of those should I do on Monday? This is so relaxing. <laughs> it's like I get to make my own coloring book and then color it. Oh, and another little note. I might get interrupted here. I'm, I'm supposed to have quite a few packages arriving in the next couple of days. 
And one of them hasn't arrived yet, which is a little concerning, so... Wow, okay, so it looks like there is an overwhelming response for spirit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, there was a part of me that knew that y'all would choose that one. Um, if I put that forward. <laughs> okay, so spirit it, it, spirit it is on Monday. Um, and just a reminder, August, I am going to be changing the theme. And the theme is actually going to be Georgia O'Keeffe. And I will be going through sketches based on different paintings of hers throughout the month. And setting them in art history as well. well um, so yeah, so that will be starting in August on the Monday and Wednesday streams, and then Fridays are not going to change. Uh, those will always be D&D. &D. Um, and, you know, at some point before the end of the stream today, I'll definitely be doing the the drawing for what it is that we're going to be doing. Yeah. Yeah, this layer. <laughs> I see how you all are. I doomed myself because I said it was going to be difficult. Yep. I should have just taken a page from the Adventurous Pack book because <laughs> whenever people get asked, do you want the easy room or the hard room? It's almost inevitable. That chat says, hard room, hard room, hard room.
just bumped my hand. This is oddly satisfying. Like, fake lacing up a boot. I did not think... me so chill. I'm like, yeah, okay. Cool. There's a part of me that really wants these boots now. <laughs> oh no. Okay. <laughs> so, because I like to have things symmetrical, we're gonna go the opposite way with the color. everywhere. Okay. Goodness gracious me, hey. Okay, that was... There we go. <laughs> Definitely feeling the pressure. Um, so now it's time to do a clipping mask. And I'm going to start up here on the vest. And for the vest, first I'm going to do some shading. So I need to get into my airbrush. So by doing all of those laces on the very, very tippy top, I can actually do the shading now without causing myself a lot of grief. Okay, make sure that we're doing the underbust here. Do some roundness here. <laughs> yeah, Lazy Gothic Beat. Those are really slick boots. Okay. Okay. 
Also, can I just tell you, when I realized that I could blend the the shadow layer when it's still in the clipping mask, and it makes it so much easier, that like revolutionized my life. I figured that out like last week sometime. It just gives it a much softer blend. Okay. Um, I think I am gonna give this like a leather texture. I don't love the texture brush for the leather, but um, it's under touch-ups. Thing is, this does add a lot of texture, which I like. It's just not my favorite leather texture because it looks, I mean, it is skin, um, but from far away, I guess it, I guess it does give like the right impression. Um, the boots, I'm not going to do the same texture because I want these to be like a really, really slick, smooth boot. So those are going to get a different treatment. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Now this is... Oh boy. I'm going to highlight now. And because this is leather, it is going to have a shine to it, but I also don't want to lose the detail below here, which means I need to be on the right layer. <laughs> you know, sometimes I just wonder. I wonder. Okay, there we go. Of course, this upper region is going to have more shine because it's getting the light. But we are also going to get some down here. We can have some fun with the shading here. Oh, that's too big. There we go. Okay, so first I am going to blur a little bit. Just to smooth out that line. Um, but now I'm going to go in and actually darken in these creases. Because they are technically in shade compared to the rest.
Let's blend that out a little bit. Ooh, too much? Too much, too much. Okay, and let's add that same shadow where it's appropriate. course just like always I'm also doing just a little bit of a shade on the outside edge just to make sure that we're getting that roundness but I'm also just trying to use the lightest of touches smudge to soften those edges. For her shirt, I'm not super, oh, sorry if I just hit that mic too hard. Um, I'm not super concerned with the texture on this one. But I am gonna highlight it a little bit because I assume, yeah, I need to first add those low lights here. I'm gonna leave those kind of harsh. Um, what was I saying? Oh, because this is going to be a really soft fabric and I don't have a lot of textures that I think lend themselves to that softness. So I'm just going to add a couple of highlights just to kind of give it a little bit of femininity and softness and just kind of chill. You know, you want the shoulders to have the most of the highlighting. Can you tell that I'm avoiding the skirt a little bit? <laughs> I can't avoid it for too long because we're going to have to hop over to uh, Adventurous Pack. But honestly, if I don't finish this today, I'll finish it over the next week and show you the finished product next week. But um, yeah, I, I know that that one's going to be a doozy. So. I'm giving this a really bright highlight. Cause I just it's made out of freaking bug mandible, you know. Those are really shiny, so we're gonna 
can get that really nice intense highlight. Maybe it's even made out of gold. And now I can go in and drop into a shadow and just kind of round things out a little bit. That's a much better shadow color, good. And this music's actually really quiet on this one. I can't even hear it. One moment. Okay, had to just bring that sound up a little bit more. I'm kind of creating this like what I imagine like to be like a, a really roughly fabric here. Like, while I know it's not a perfect dupe of the Onkeg itself, I'm just really working on making it look the way I want it to look. Cool. Now I am going to boost that a little bit, and we're going to go underneath here. shadow layer to be on its own layer.
Yeah, because I really want to round this out. And that's something that's kind of hard to do on these flatter looking shapes. Or just, I guess, uh, abnormal looking shapes. It's like, what is the actual contour of this, you know? see you lazy gothy um yeah we'll be we'll be headed over there in about 10 minutes um but i will see you in about 45 minutes then
So now I'm gonna bring in some highlights on this area. Okay, so now I'm going to hop down to the purple leggings, just for some good old-fashioned shading. would be my first rodeo. I feel like I need another texture in here. Uh, <laughs> fartsy but I 
it at least gives it more like rough texture that the Ankeg like has. Oh, that's much better. Okay, cool. All right, so I am um, just about done. I'm going to finish shading her hair and her face. And then we're gonna go raid Adventurous Pack as soon as they're online. Then beat up a bunch of monsters. Why not? Mom, it's all good that you had a crazy day. We're actually about to wrap up. Um, it's all good. Yeah, and also before we do head out and finish up, uh, thank you all so much for watching. And again, if you haven't followed, please give us a follow here. We do fashion illustrating Monday, Wednesday, and Friday here on Twitch. So please join us. Um, well, me and the chat crew. But yeah, I appreciate y'all taking the time and hanging out with me as I do some of my fashion illustration work. this up. our onk egg turned into fashion <laughs> uh, and I think we did a pretty dang good job I will finish this off with a background and a frame essentially and this will eventually be put into my nerd my new merch store but other than that I'm going to call this one finished so I hope you all had a great time thank you so much for watching and taking the time to just hang out with me. We're gonna pick the next one right here. Choose a number between one and 200. It's 184. All right, 184. <laughs> and that is going to be the troll. So next Friday, I will be turning a troll into fashion all right so yeah july 24th 2020 at 3 p.m pacific time i will be making i will be making a troll into fashion so i hope you all come back next friday or actually next monday or wednesday for the regular show and we will have some fun with that, and I'm going to go ahead and raid the Adventurer's Pack thing, but I need to get into the right spot here. Okay. And stream. And raid channel. Come on, come on. 